Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back to my class. Alright, as for today, uh, we're going to learn about another skills in science process, okay, that are classify, measure and use number, making inference, prediction and communication. Let's go one by one. Okay, classify. What is classify? Classifying is the skill of grouping objects or phenomena according to common characteristic. Okay, so you have to compare or look at the similarities. For example, maybe we can see the size or uh, the, the shape of the things. As for this one, okay, here we have, here we have a uh, a lot of animals and we group these animals according to their similarities. Look at the first group. We have lion, monkey and a whale. These kind of animals have the same on how they are reproduced. Okay, they are giving birth. So they are in the same group that is mammals. Okay, next group we can see there's a few kinds of birds. Okay. So these kinds of birds have the same features, outer features, and they are also laying eggs. So these animals we group in, uh, in one group as birds. Next is the group of fish. All right, here is a, a few kinds of fishes. Okay, and uh, the same, their similarity, uh, the way they, um breathe okay they are using gills and also uh, their feature is the same they have a scale and also living in the in in the water all right the same characteristic for the reptiles are they are laying eggs they have scales and they can uh, live in the water and also on land and the last one is for the groups of amphibians okay they are animals that living in two places that are um, in the water and on land. Okay, uh, these animals is uh, is in the groups of amphibians. Okay, so as as I said just now, okay, you have to see their similarities in order to group it. All right, look at this example. Okay, I have a few objects here that are nail, sponge, paper clip, pencil, rubber, and a needle. Alright, you have to classify these objects into two groups. So, you have to find out what are their properties that are similar. Okay, so here you can use a tree maps to make this a classification okay so here is the example of tree map okay this is my tree map all right the first group and the second group so what must we put here in the top box here is what are the items here so here we got an a few objects we got a few objects. So here we put objects. Alright. And what are the similarities versus uh, that you can put here? Okay. So we can see here. Nail. Sponge. Pepper clip. Pencil. Eraser. And a needle. Hmm. Do you have any idea? What groups can we put it for them? If you have any idea, please answer in the comment below. Alright, I want to see your answer. Okay, let's move on to the next skill. Okay, next we will learn about measure and use number. I believe you are familiar with this kind of tools. Okay, the first box here, we can see tape measure ruler and meter stick what are the uses for of these tools remember 
we want to measure and use number. So if you want to measure, we have to use tools and instrument to find out how long, how heavy, or how much something is. Measurement is a way of comparing things. It helps us to give better observation about things around us. Okay? Okay, you will also can relate the measurement with a quantitative data. Okay? For this, the first tools here, uh, these groups of tools here, is to measure length. Okay? This one we can measure length. All right, the, sec the second group here is a few kind of balance, okay? We have a kitchen scale, a bathroom scale, and digital weighing scale. All these is to measure mass, okay? Next, we can see a measuring cup, a measuring spoon, a medicine dropper, and graduated cylinder. Can you guess what these all tools for? Yeah, they are related with liquid. The uses of these tools are to measure volume of liquid. And the last one we can see here is clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer. All these tools is to measure temperature. Why must we use tools to measure things? Yes, because we want to get an accurate data. Okay? Yes, next skill is prediction. Alright, a prediction is a guess about what might happen in the future. Remember, this is for the future. You have to guess. But wait, this is not like a fortune teller that you can glance on the crystal balls and tell people, what are the, your future about? Okay, this is about science. So, all the guessing or the prediction is closely related to other process science skills, such as observing, inferring, and classifying. Okay? And also, you must use your prior knowledge to make a prediction. For example, of prediction, Okay, as you can see at the first picture here, okay, it is cloudy. So, I predict it is going to rain today. This is prediction because you have your prior knowledge and you also experienced this situation before. Let's look at the second picture. Can you predict what will happen for the future? Let's see your answer in the comment below. Alright, next here is inferring making inference so what is making inference making inference is skills of making a wise interpretation of a set of observation and inference is an explanation of your observation to make an inference we connect what we observe okay what we observe through our senses an inference can be made from more than one observation and it is not just a guess. Okay, Remember, you must have your observation and inference is a statement that can support your observation. But be careful, you must differentiate between how to make an observation and how to make inference. Okay, You have to remember, observing is to Describe what you see, what you hear, what you taste, what you feel, or what you smell. While inferring is you interpret what you think about, what you hear, what you see, what you taste, feel, or smell. That means it supports your observation. Okay, let's look at the example here. Let's find out what is the observation for this picture. Yes, the man is fell down. So, can you think? What is the inference of this observation? The man fell down because the floor is wet. So, what about communication? What is communication? 
Communication is sharing ideas and information about what you discovered in science. Uh, for example here, if I have a question, what kind of book that you like to read? So, you can share your idea by orally, can tell maybe, or you can make a table, okay? Or you can write a report, or you can um, build a chart or by drawing, okay? Scientists usually write a report and publish them in journalists, magazines, or newspaper to share their work to the public, to share information, data, findings, and opinions that become sources of knowledge. This is how we communicate. That means we share what we found so that other people also will get to know what are the updates. And the last skill for today is interpret data. So when you get the data from your research or your test, okay, you can interpret your data uh, and analyze it. Okay. For example, here uh, you also can interpret data into different kind of chart. Okay, from table to chart, and also to interpret data, we can see uh, what is the most and what is the less. Okay, in the result, I think that's all for now. Okay, uh, I hope this class will help you to understand more about these topics. Okay, that's all for now. Bye-bye.